Okay, I have an original effect to share with you today. And as you can see, it involves four red cards and four black cards, okay? And so I need you to tell me how you would like these stacked. Red on black or black on red? Your choice. Red cards on top of the black, okay? Now we're going to do something interesting today because we're going to do all of the mixing face up. And that's for the simple reason that you will be deciding exactly how we mix these cards and how we stack different packets of cards. And so I want you to see that the cards are being well mixed. Okay, so we'll have the cards face up. Now whether you know this or not, it is the case that one of the most destructive ways to mix cards is something called the down under shuffle. So let me just show you what that is, and then we can perform this as many times as you would like. Okay, so you go a down, under, down, under, down, down, under, down. Last one goes on top. Let me just show you how kind of messy it is here. It's uh, created quite a mess. Okay, would you like me to do another one of those? You don't. So one's enough for you. Okay. So a note to you as the performer, you can actually have the spectator dictate how many times this is done. They can do it once or 50 times if they would like. Okay. Another great mixing procedure is something called the Klondike Shuffle. Okay. And so this is how it works. You take the top and bottom cards off as one. Okay. I just want to show you how the cards are being mixed here until all of the cards have been put on the table. Okay. Would you like to do another one of those? You would. Okay. So let me do a second one. In fact, if you were here, you could do it actually. You could do all of this uh, mixing yourself. Okay. So there's the uh, second one. Would you like to do a third one? No. Okay. And now the final mixing that we'll do, it's a pretty standard thing, but it does a good job. It's called the left right shuffle. So you just deal left, right, left, right, and then random stacking decided by you. How would you like these stacked? Left on right? Okay. Would you like to do any more of these? You would. How many more? Two more. Okay, that's fine. So left, right, left, right. How would you like them stacked now? Right on left? Okay. And I think you asked for two more, so we still have one more to do. How would you like these piles stacked? Right on left as well. Okay, that's just fine. Now, we can do any additional mixing of the kind that I've shown you. You'd like to do just one more down under. Okay, that's fine. So you go down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, last one on top. Okay, so I think you would have to agree, and apologize that I keep going downhill here, <laughs> um, that these are, these are well mixed here, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to now take the cards, um, so we'll just take the top four, and then the bottom four, just like this, and I'm going to give you one final chance to kind of decide the final arrangement of these cards. So from here, we could have you swap the outer two cards, so these two, or we could have you swap the inner two cards, or we could have you swap the outer two diagonal cards, like that, or we could have you switch the inner two diagonal cards. So which of those four options would you like? And it truly is a free choice. You'd like to switch the outer to diagonal. Okay, so what that would mean is this one comes over here, this one comes over here, and then these two switch. This one comes here, this one comes here, and then we'll just kind of, whoop, sorry about that, <laughs> bring those together and bring these together like that, okay? Now I have off to the right a written prediction as to what I believe would be the result of all of these random choices and decisions made by you. So let's just take a look at the prediction here and see if I'm even close. Okay, so what does it say? I predicted that you will separate the cards by color. 
separate. Okay, wait a second. I mean, okay, so this may have gone awry. Uh, okay, that's <laughs> those aren't separated. Um, okay, I don't. Okay, so what is going on here? That was supposed to work. You will separate the cards by color because we started with red and then black, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're right. There is a second part here. Uh, flip each pile of four cards, missing an S, <laughs> over. Flip each pile of four cards. So you're talking about these? Well, why would that? <laughs> that wouldn't make any difference if you did that, would it? What the heck? What in the world is going on here? That is not how I pictured that you would separate the cards by color. How in heaven's name did that even happen? And how did you make a perfect series of choices that led to a perfect confirmation of a written prediction that was made before all of the choices and mixing procedures were carried out. That is unbelievable. How did you do that? Okay, so how did the spectator do that? Okay, so this is using something called a Bessie sequences of order eight in a way that I've never shown before. Okay, so what you need for this is you need um, you need four red cards, but two of them need to have a black back and two need to have a red back. Okay, so that's the first thing. So that's true for the red. Well, it's the same thing for the black. You need four black cards, but two of them need to have a black, quote, black or blue, I guess, blue back, and then the other two have to have a red. Okay, and then what you need to do, you know, spectate, it's just part of the setup right before, is you need to put these cards in what's called a Bessie sequence arrangement. So let me just show you this here. So what you need, let's say for the red pile, red, black, black, red, and then for the quote black cards, it's the inversion of that, okay? So let me just lay them out so you can kind of visualize. So we have red on the outside, quote black on the inside, black on the outside, red on the inside, but all of these on their faces are red and all of these on their faces are black. Okay, so what it means then is the colors of the backs of the cards are arranged as a Bessie sequence of order eight. Well, why is that important? Well, it's because this special arrangement is unharmed by over a thousand unique mixing procedures that can be freely performed and not disturb that arrangement, okay? So from here, you stack these randomly. I think we had the red on top of the black. And of course, the whole premise of the routine is we do things face up so the spectator won't see the backs of the cards until the very end, that's the finale, okay? So these would be stacked on top of here or vice versa. So maybe we'll do the opposite this time, okay? But secretly, the backs are arranged in this very special way, as I'd mentioned, okay? Now, this arrangement here will not be harmed by the uh, shuffles that I've shown you and many, many, many other ones on my channel, okay? So from here, you can do as many, you know, down-unders as you like, as many Klondikes as you like, as many left-right shuffles with random stacking from left to right or right to left, okay? You can do any number of those in any order and in any quantity that you like or the spectator calls for. And then when you're all done, so imagine we've done all that mixing, Okay, we, we've done just a little mixing here, but enough to kind of show you the, the final step. Okay, so let me just show you what is the case because of that special arrangement of the backs of the cards. Okay, so let me just show you really what they look like, okay, for this final choice. Okay, so think about what I gave you as choices. I said you could switch the outer two, which would make these all, quote, black back cards and those are red 
or you can switch the inner two. Well, now these would all be red back cards and these would be black. If you switch these, now this is what you did, right? This is what you went with. The outer diagonals, we'll put all of the cards of the same color backs together, okay? Um, and it will also work if you do the diagonal inner. Like if you go diagonally switch those, okay? So those four choices of the outer ones, the inner ones, diagonal outer or diagonal inner, all of them lead to the same grouping of these cards. Namely, the backs of the cards will now all be the same color. Okay, so that's like secretly the case unknown to the spectator. Okay, and that's despite whatever mess you might be seeing here on the fronts of the cards. Okay, so that is the secret. So I will add a link in the description below to Bessie sequences. They're extremely powerful and can be used for countless card effects. So thank you for watching and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.